about you in but I'm turning a little bit green with jealousy because I don't get to review turning red like Mac and Truman are on the spot correspondence. Hey everybody I'm Mac and I'm Truman and today we're going to be reviewing uh, Don't Miss She's Turning Red. The story is about a 13 year girl named May who discovers an old family curse in which every time she has built up emotions she becomes a red panda and her family has to go through the old ritual to overthrow the curse. So Truman what did you think of the film? Well, I'll tell you, I think it definitely had some, there, you know, it wasn't a perfect movie. I, mm -hmm. I think there's definitely some flaws. But overall, I think it was a very charming kind of like coming of age story. It's kind of a little bit of a departure. Well, that's not a departure from what Pixar does, but I think it's different. They went a little bit of a different direction than they usually do. What about you? I agree. I think Di Disney and specifically Disney Pixar films have these like, usually have this pattern of trying to make films that appeal to both children and adults. I think the demo, like the target audience for this film is mainly like people of our age, you know? So it might be kind of difficult for, you know, somebody who's a little younger, maybe a little older to understand. But, you know, I thought, it, like you said, it was a charming movie. And what was really unique about this film in comparison to other Pixar movies, this one touched on a lot of more adult themes than, like, you'd expect well, in, for, in a for, casual Pixar movie. For sure, because, you know, it's kind of like a metaphor for, like, oh, it's going through, like, you know, you're going through, like, it's teenage years. You're going through some, you're going through some, everyone's going through changes. You're going, I'm going through changes. That's the song in the Netflix show. Um, And, you know, right. it's like a thing. Where everyone's going through, and it's like when it's embodied in like a physical form, that's what really make, makes um, what makes it kind of show up, stand out to the audience in a way where it's like you don't really think about it in that way, which I think is really cool. Exactly, um, and I'm not gonna lie. Throughout most of the film, I was having trouble trying to connect with May, the protagonist, but towards the very end, like the final lesson of the film is that you know at some point you're gonna have to separate from your parents. Like you can't be the exact person that they want you to be. That was the moment that this movie kind of clicked for me and it was like okay this is like a way where i can start start connecting it towards my life you know it doesn't just have to be a movie that's like designed for the average teenage girl absolutely. Uh, and you can obviously see absolutely see i think you like everybody can i think not, not everybody not, not a, a huge majority of people watching that can definitely understand like all uh, getting out from under your parents influence like that and get, getting like telling what you as a person who you are as a person and what you want at, at, they're like separate from what you were in your family unit which i think is a really interesting concept what did you think of the um, animation because you know they had, it's, it's mm -hmm. kind of there was more I think a more creative flair yeah you know we talked films. about this it's kind of a departure from like the classic animation that we always see in Pixar movies mm -hmm. you know and I kind of like that you know I think it's very funny when like you know the sweat just appears on the head yeah no know? I think that's cool I think it's cool and that. um you know they just emphasize a lot of they just kind of make it more silly you know and I, I kind of like that not everything has to be like you know, the classic computer animation, right. you know? Well, I like when they do the four-town stuff with, like, the boy band, where they go, like, four-town, yeah. you know, I'm like, yeah, that's a good, that's a good time. I'm exactly. Like, really and another thing about this, too, is I like how they keep up with the times. You yeah, know, they, yeah. You know, they're very much implementing pop culture into these movies, and they're, they're, they're very much updating, you know, their standards, that, like, for, for the target demographic, you know? Yeah, well, it's also, it just makes me feel old, the fact that there's, like, these, like, kind of, like, almost, like, period pieces being made about things that are not too far from when I was born. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But, you know, it's really? cool. I'm sure it's cool. Well, it's, like, you know, it's, like, a, oh, it's, like, early, you know, it's kind of, like, well, it's instead of Vancouver, you know, and it's kind of, like, like mm -hmm. kind of, like, a in sync kind of, I think, I think it's an in, do you think Wartown is in sync? Um, I think it's an in sync type. It's an in sync I think it was, it's, like, kind of the, it's, it's disturbingly close to the era in which I was born which i don't yeah. like at all and obviously we can't talk about this film without talking about the amazing voice performance of this spe specifically rosalie chang who Indeed. plays may yeah no i think she does a great job who's our age Dude, crazy crazy stuff really makes me take a look at my accomplishments in life <laughs> oh don't say that yeah no, no, but no she does a fantastic job and obviously sandra O, oh, who is famous from Grey's anatomy uh famous from killing eve she plays the mother in this and she's just so fantastic and both these characters just like you know they you can really like see yourself in both these characters and obviously i saw a lot of my mother mm -hmm. in this character you know because i feel like when i started to gravitate a little bit towards her when i got older like yeah. my mom's kind of the same way mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what do you think well i think it's definitely i think it was a realistic um as realistic as it can be like depiction of what how a parent would react if their kid was in the time under tradition of the family turning into a red pan it's like oh we already know this happens this is what you have to do but it comes off to um it comes out to May as kind of like controlling when it's really just kind of like this is the they, the mom is really thinking is like oh this is just the process that we go through but May is like well maybe I don't want to go through the process yeah um 
one thing that I actually thought was really surprisingly accurate mm-hmm. was just the middle school depiction of this movie. Yeah. You know, I, I saw this movie and it said, okay, I believe I believe they're eighth graders, right? I think I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they they come in and, you know, a lot of these kids are so like immature and they're trying to act. They're just trying to act as older as they are, and they're not trying to, like, cherish their childhood. Right, you know? right. And I was like, that's a throwback to back in the old days. And I had some specifically some problems with people like that in middle school. Right, and you see it a lot. You see it a lot of movies where it's, like, kind of like the period where, like, you know you, you, you're beginning to find out what you want, but you're not, like, mature enough to understand what you like the limits of responsibilities that you need to you need to like take hold of in order to achieve that and i think that's really that's something a lot of audiences respond to is like that period in your life because everyone you know everyone goes through it and they might not turn into a panda when they go through it but they definitely go through it i mean you never know about that last um, part that's but... true i guess you can't really you can't judge a book by its cover on the whole panda thing what do you th- how do you think this movie compares into other pixar movies in terms of the message of the film like, well you know it, it came out around the same time i think as luca i think and then it was around the same time but i think yeah, a few was, years it's, after it's, you know, it's, it's same time period um and you know i think that i think you know pixar does these kinds of coming of age things pretty well you know mm-hmm. with turning red and then you know i i would argue you know, you know i would say up is something of it you know they got Russell i, w- I was going to talk about that next but yeah yeah no no you, you say your up thing you, you say your up well thing. up is by up. far the most emotional pixar movie i've ever watched oh no by far opinion. by far um and turning red was a little there was emotional moments but it was nowhere near like the emotional impact of some of the other pixar films you know yeah for me at least um but overall like you know it stays true to like your your perfect like you know pixar formula you have you know a character that they make relatable to the audience and they end up just learning this lesson about like you know cherishing life and cherishing youth more specifically and what we've seen in a lot of these movies gotcha, gotcha. and so uh we're coming to that time truman do you want to give your your final rating of the film yes no i think i would um you know it's a it's a pretty, it's a pretty good movie. It's pretty solid. I'm a fan of it, but you know, it's not. It's like it only goes so far for me. There's a lot of there's better Pixar films in my eyes, so I would give it. I think a solid seven out of ten. Mm-hmm. What about you? Well, as you know, I came in here, and I wasn't saying the most positive things about the film. That's not that's but correct. I can just as we're kind of talking about it, I'm honestly talking myself into liking. No, the film. I noticed. I was going to ask yeah. you if there were any flaws. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> like I, like we said, not the perfect movie and not Pixar's best. But you know what? It will suffice. I will also give it a 7 out of 10. Hey, seven, 7 buddies. Exactly. And, um, yeah. Now we'll take you right back to the studio.